Hey, what's going on, my gilded brother? You see this uh, press steel text effect right here? It's amazing, right? I know. I just learned how to do this at, uh, like minutes before I uploaded it. Out well, a couple hours because it takes time to render and all that and edit. But yeah, this is the text effect I'm getting ready to show you all. It's press steel with the 12 o'clock shadow. And uh, you will need the font if I haven't tried it with any fonts. This font is called Caviar. The download link will be in the uh, description. But hey, let's get up here to uh, file and new start a new file. Width is going to be 900 by 600 pixels. Resolution of 300. Mm -hmm. Click OK. Well, we're going to start off with the background color as I'm telling you this HTML code right here. 332222. Two, two, two. Okay. Splash the background real quick. Paint bucket. Splash. There we go. Alright, now grab the text tool. And as usual, you can type whatever you'd like. I'm going to type Gilded App 5. And I have a uh, it's set to caviar dreams, that's what the font is called. And the type is going to be bold. Alright, and uh, 30 point. You see that? Bold. Right, let's, let's get busy. Oh, whoa, don't forget to set your text to white. Forgot to, forgot. Text to white. There we go. Get it at 5. Get it at 5. Yeah, yeah, that's my little. I need to make an intro, that has no sound. Like, like Sega. Alright, we'll create a new layer. And we're gonna fill this new layer with uh, 90% gray. Okay, 90% gray. Splash. Alright, we're gonna go up to filter and render. I'm gonna render out a, a um, lens flare really quick. Lens flare we're gonna use, we're gonna use the first one, 50 by uh, 300 millimeter zoom. But we're going to set the brightness to 125%. Hit OK. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hold down Alt and in on this line between the layer and the text layer, we're going to click. Guess what we're about to make? Anybody, anybody, whenever you're ready. We're going to make a clipping mask. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is what I'm talking about here. We're getting started. We're just getting started though. Let's right click on the text layer, go to blending options. Okay, we're going to add a drop shadow. Yes, drop shadow. Blend mode, multiply. Opacity 75%. We're going to change the angle. Put that to 90. Make that 90. We're going to also change the distance. Make it 2. And then we're going to change the size. Make that 8. Then we're going to bevel and emboss it. Okay. Now. What's going on here? I did, I, silly me. I didn't click on. I didn't click on it. <laughs> the style is gonna be inner bevel, depth 100%, direction up, size. We're gonna, have, we're gonna make the size zero. Angle is gonna stay at 90%, 90, and then altitude we're gonna make it 65. All right, there we go. There we go. Look at that, that's amazing. Yeah. Hit OK. Alright, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna add uh we're gonna add some more effects to this character. Add a little bit more character to this. Let's render lens flare. And this time we're gonna make it hundred percent. Same fifty three hundred millimeter zoom. Hundred percent brightness. Click OK. And then we're gonna have to filter on this. That's that's bright. That's harsh. Really, that's harsh. Gaussian blur. We're gonna make 45 pixels. <gasps> that's some soft light. Can light get any softer? Wow. That that's some soft light. That is today. That's about the soft as it can get, right? All right. Well, forget that. Image adjustments. Hue and saturation. I'm gonna set lightness to negative 20. Oh. Whoa, the light just got softer. The light can get softer. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Wow. All right, now image canvas size. We're gonna we're gonna uh, extend this canvas really quick. 
what you want to do is click on this bottom arrow right here yeah make sure it looks just like mine make sure relative is unchecked what we're going to do is we're going to set the height to 1600 pixels it's all going to come together don't worry just stick with me hit ok next we're going to create an action Let's zoom out a little bit so we can handle this a little bit better what I want you to do is what I want you to do is grab the arrow tool I want you to control click on the text layer with the background selected I want you to create a new layer okay now grab the paint bucket make sure the foreground is set to black set it to the blackest black known to photoshop okay now we go to black is black grab the paint bucket with the selection selected text and you splash it black you can't really tell it now it's black right, deselect it and what's going to happen now is go to the actions tab right up here this little thing right here we're going to create a new new set I, will, I was going to name it drop shadow but the recording program hotkey is set to R so it doesn't record R or S it's hotkeys I don't I don't know what's retarded but with the drop shadow one so drop three whatever you name yours select hit new action I'm gonna name it shadow okay man it's gonna be Haddle because of the, the program it's it's mad at me. it's every every almost every time I record you know I need an R or S but it doesn't work. Alright now we're gonna hit record. Let's get started. First off, what I want you to do is let's go to the layers panel. I want you to hit Command Control J. I don't even have a Mac. What am I talking about? Command Control J to duplicate the layer. And with the layer select, I want you to hit Control Alt T to transform it. All right. And with this, we're gonna look to grab the center. Grab the center and hold Shift. We're gonna drag it all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Yep, keep going, keep going, right, right there. Drag that all the way up. Okay. Alright, then we're going to go over here to these height settings. 100%. We're going to make it 100.2%. Uh, H and W, which stands for height and width. Okay. There we go. And hit enter, hit enter twice. And then what we're going to do is hit stop. Go back up to the Actions tab and hit stop. Back to the layers and the layer two, copy two selected. Then we'll go back to the actions tab and play the action we just created. The one we just created. I'm gonna play it. I played it ten times, but it it, it copied it like like twice as much as I pushed it. For some reason, I've yet to figure out. But you can play until your shadow looks similar to mine. That's looking nice, right? Press deal already. But now what we're going to do is we're going to merge all these shadow layers. Yeah, yeah. Merge them. Merge them. I dare you. I dare you. Merge them. I dare you to merge them. Alright, there we go. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a gossip blur. Not a gossip blur, a radio blur. Right, we'll put a radio blur. What we're going to do with the radio blur, you know how the center is usually centered. I've been messing around with it, so mine isn't. But yeah, with the center, we're going to take the center all the way up to the top. Take it to the top. Take it to the top. Try to keep it as centered as possible at the top. I'm going to set the amount to three. Blur method, zoom and quality best. Hit OK. Voila! That's amazing. That is amazing, but we're not done yet. With this layer shadow selected, the layer, the, I'm going to call it the shadow layer, even though it doesn't say it, it's the shadow layer. I'm going to hit Control Alt T, and we're going to drag this center up to the top again. Okay. This time we're going to add a Gaussian, a Gaussian blur. 
upload. Alright, let's layer select. Back up the filter. Blue. Gaussian blue. I'm going to set it to 2. Set it to 2. Alright, but we're not done yet. Anybody know how to crop? Anybody? A show of hands, who knows how to crop? Crop this back down to its original state because it's looking kind of weird right now. All right, right click, crop, and then we have it. Zoom back in 100%. And whatever you have, I bet it's just as beautiful as what I have here. And hey, I, I know you've learned something. If you stuck with me, you've just gained priceless knowledge because this video is free. It's very free. And hey, if you, if you like, show me what you made. I'd love to see what you made. I love to see what you wrote. I wonder all the time what you wrote. Right. I'm about to my tutorials. But hey, thanks a lot. Comment, subscribe, rate. Tell your buddies. Show them. Get their uh, Photoshop skills. Take it to another level. Raise the bar, people. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Have a happy YouTube endeavor.